Hey guys, we just watched week one, and I am now excited to talk a little bit about week two. We've now seen these four teams, we've seen how they play, we've seen what they do, uh, and let's talk about it a little bit. What are we going to be expecting out of these future weeks? What do these teams need to do? Well, not safe for work from home. They have proven uh, that their strategy of waiting till level 20, playing level 20 power spike heroes will work and this is exactly what they did this is the level 20 fight that completely changed this game they were behind in structures they were behind in kills they were behind in every single objective this game and they come back in a single fight after level 20. so what we're gonna see is little rubies in my opinion played as one of the most structured teams but then out of nowhere they were just terrifying um and and then it and then they just couldn't close out the game before level 20 so not safe for work from home just showed up dropped everything and they were in a really good spot and so what we're going to need to see out of little rubies is to take that structure take that aggression that they had in the early game and find a way to close out games a little bit earlier not safe for work from home this is a solid strategy it works the downside is when it doesn't work how many objectives do you need to lose this was what i talked about in my leoric video from last season was i said um this build is great if you can get to 20 but how many objectives do you lose to get to 20 and they lost every single objective now it's a good thing that they didn't lose the game but that is one major downside. So what I expect from both of these teams is to learn from what happened in these games. Not safe for work from home, might need to try to gain an advantage a little earlier so they can guarantee that they'll hit level 20, but their strategy should still work. While Little Rubies needs to close out games earlier with this coordination and aggression, and I think that they could still learn a lot from their playstyles to try to make it a little bit more efficient because that's really what came out about their playstyle. A little bit more efficiency, a little bit more communication, they'll be good. Both of these teams will have a lot more time to practice together, and they will both be able to refine these strategies a little bit further. But those weren't the only games that we saw. We also saw a game between the Pentanoms and Big Ding Energy. Now, Big Ding Energy, I mentioned this several times during the cast. They are probably the most coordinated team in this series, and they've clearly had the most practice out of all of these other teams. So what we need to expect from them is how do they take themselves from this 90% and get up to that 100% while everyone else is sitting at like a 60 to 70% for coordination and they need to get all the way up to that 70, 80, 90%. And it's a lot easier to get from like that 60% to the 90% than it is to get from that 90% to 100. So what are they going to do to start beating these teams as more teams get as coordinated as they are? Because they are very coordinated. Uh, Pentanoms, individually, I felt like each of them were playing very good. I just felt like they were not as coordinated as Big Ding Energy, and I feel like Pentanoms is going to be a scary team if they can get some of that practice time in, because that practice time is huge. They lost the 2-0, and they kind of got dominated by Big Ding Energy. Um, but again, individually, each of their players are rather good, so it's all going to come down to just a few... I would say, honestly, for Pentanoms anyways, it's going to come down to practice, practice, practice. As far as Big Ding Energy, it's going to come down to strategy. They already have that practice together. They already are hitting some of the limitations of their their heroes that they're playing. So what they need to start doing now is coming up with better strategies or different strategies that people ha don't have time to practice against. These teams need to practice enough just to get good. They don't have enough time to practice against all those random strategies that a lot of these old pro teams used to have to practice for. So that's going to be the challenge. Big Ding Energy needs to start bringing out the weird stuff. Well, Pentanoms just need some practice and then I believe all the rest of these teams are pretty close and I'm getting very excited for week two so I will uh, see you guys then but I definitely want to hear what teams are you rooting for I asked last week for y'all to pick a team now you've seen them all in action what teams are you rooting for and uh and what certain players are you watching out maybe you're expecting something in particular maybe we see Turk playing uh the Vikings in one of these games I don't know we'll see but uh what are you guys expecting to see I'd love to hear it post in the comments the the tweet retweet whatever you want to do uh, I'll check it out thank you guys and see you on Wednesday